Hello guys, once again, it's Matt, and today we have another video, and yeah, let's think our members first, Invictus, Crazy Bull Cuts, uh, Interceptor, Richardson, Danny Cage, and Rupert, uh, thank you guys, it means a lot, make sure to be a member, thank you all the members, all the Patreons, uh, all the Paypals, <laughs> and yeah, let's get into it, so subscribe and let's get into it, so today we're going to talk about the MiG-23s, a lot of people actually have uh, troubles, uh, just understanding the versions that we have in game, you know, of the MiG-23s and basically don't know what exactly they have in a difference uh, to the uh, to the versions of especially the Germans and the uh, Russian top tier ones. So, uh, for example, the MLD and then the MLA, uh, most of the people don't know the differences between them. So I just wanted to talk a, a little bit about that. OK. So, uh, first of all, uh, we have the M's and the MF's, obviously. Uh, we're not going to talk about the MiG-23 uh, BN or the 27s, but the, especially the M and the MF, they are very early, very, very early versions of the MiG-23, you know, early 70s, 1971. Um, so, it is just uh, basically that, you know. And when the ML came out, uh, the M uh, normal version, you know, L, it means uh, that it is the uh, lighter version of the, the, the M, kind of. That was the initial ML version. Around 1974, 1975, uh, there were a lot of differences between them, you know, already. So we didn't get this ver variant yet in game, you know, but we got the MLA, the MLD, which are improvements to that concept. And that concept, uh, at first, the idea was to improve not only the sensors, uh, but also the maneuverability and the weight of the aircraft and etc. You know, so uh, from the M to the ML, uh, you will see a lot of changes like in weight, uh, for example, in the radar, the radar was way, way better, you know, that not way better, but the detection was better. The engine was the R35, uh, which is a new engine. Uh, which is already the engine that we used in the MLD and MLA. So there was a lot of differences between the M and the ML, you know. And the MLA was an improvement over this concept of a better, lighter, better radar aircraft, equipped aircraft, you know. Uh, but he had a little bit more stuff. But uh, let's talk about, which it is the objective of the video, uh, talking about the, the differences between the MLA and MLD. So the MLA is not, as a lot of people think, um, an export variant of the MiG-23, okay? The MLA was actually an improvement over the ML uh, with the new radar, the RP uh, or the Saphir-23 uh, MLA radar. Uh, before that, uh, they used on the ML the uh, 23ML version of the radar. Uh, obviously, it doesn't change much because it was around two years from each other, two to three years. So this aircraft actually entered in service in 1977 in the Soviet service, you know, and mass production actually was in around 1978. So it's around 1977, 78. And the main objective of the MLA was um, obviously the aircraft was already lighter and, and other stuff compared to the M. So they didn't need to, you know, work on that aspect they actually just wanted to make a better a radar and sensors especially and with the addition of a new missile the r24 so the mla in 1977 was already the objective was to use the r24 even though i know of some sources that said that the r24 was the objective to be used on the mls at first as well but then it took a little bit of more time than in 1970. Uh, I mean, around the year of 1974-75 that the ML started production, you know. So they ended up um, putting it to the, um, you know, to the MLA version, you know, together with some upgrades to the Raider. So, yeah, not going to talk about too much on the differences between the ML to the MLA. We're going to talk more on the MLA and MLB, as I said. So the first things first... Externally, they are very, very similar to each other. It doesn't change much. Uh, but I think the main difference is, is obviously that the MLD, if you notice, when you pull some Gs on the MLD, 
uh, you have the slats or um, the dog tooths, you know, or saw tooths, or I mean, it has many, many names, you know, but basically it's the wings notched leading edge roots, uh, you know. Um, so, yeah, basically the aircraft itself had an automatic leading edge uh, slat, you know, that worked as also as a as a slat obviously but also as a vortex generator so it made the aircraft uh, be able to retain more uh, energize it the um, top of the wing airflow uh, over the wing you know uh, during high g's or high angle of attacks you know especially so it's an aircraft that that's the main thing that you will notice in the game you know uh, that the MLD, if you get the graphic, the the you know the graphics of uh, turn rates and energy and stuff, you will notice that eventually the MLA has a, con a better continuous turn and a better energy retention, and the MLD actually turns better, but it loses a little bit more energy, and that's the reason why too. You know, um, it's still I mean comparable to each other. They're very very close to each other. It's not something that you will you a lot uh, but if you go head to head in a very similar pilot against each other a situation uh, the MLD will be better you know in turning in rate fighting and stuff like that that's the external part of things is the main thing that the wings are redesigned a little bit more on the leading edge extensions so that it can turn a little bit more AOA on some maneuvers you know that helps a lot uh, obviously, we have uh, another one that it's internal, uh, which is the new Raider, the Saphir 23 MLA 2. So in the MLA, we have the Saphir 23 MLA, NN0, uh, oh no, uh, N003 Raider. And on the MLD, we have the Saphir 23 MLA 2, which is just a better version of the MLA Raider, the, the RP23 Raider, okay? Normally, it would be just just a few modifications, but uh, in general, it is a greater range by a little bit. You feel a little bit the range. Uh, the MLA, you can feel that you can reach targets uh, flying not that high at around 55 kilometers, something like that. Even 60 if they are flying uh, high or even 70. So um, the MLA is a little bit less than that. It would be around 45, 50. So you will feel that, you know, especially uh, when you are in a normal battle, uh, you will notice that the the radar itself is detecting uh, less range than the MLA, MLD, you know, radar. So that's one of the main reasons. ECM resistance also, it's another one. Um, this is kind of hard to test it out in game, but I have sources that, uh, I mean, a lot of my friends said that they felt that the MLA radar loses lock a lot more or that it goes for chaff a lot more or in general it is a harder radar to get a lock sometimes depending on the situation that you are trying to lock a target so in general the MLD will have a greater range in the radar a better ECM resistance in some areas you know like chaff and stuff like that and obviously also better range better detection at looking down so the MTI mode is a little bit better. The look down modes at high altitudes also are a little bit better. Okay. Uh, there is also um, obviously the SPO 15 Beriosa, but I think in game the MLA also has that. So yeah, it doesn't change much, but it's just dep it depends on the customer actually, because as I said, the MLA is not a export aircraft initially. It was uh, they actually changed the the naming on these aircraft after a little bit of time with its life uh, life uh, which was kind of weird uh, but yeah initially it was the m and the mf and then the ms which would be the m for the soviet uh, service you know the mf for the pact uh, members um, and then the ms for the outside of the pact uh, like less closer friendlies you know for for selling you know for export and the mla the mld they also have these variants so the mla has also three variants you will have the soviet mla the pact mla and the 
the Warsaw Pact, I mean. And then the second variant, the third variant, a, down, a gr downgraded radar uh, for third world countries, you know. But to be honest, the Soviet MLA for the German MLA would be very, very similar in real life. It would mean just some different modifications to the IFF system and data link systems and stuff like that. So uh, normally, um, only the PVO aircraft at this time used uh, data links and stuff like that. So the MiG-21s, the MiG-23s, uh, aircraft like that, they normally use data link systems uh, for the PVO. But for export variants and stuff like that, normally it didn't have that system as well. So yeah, there's these couple of things in real life that changed the MLA to the Soviet from the German. But in the game, you basically have the same thing. Uh, if you, we were to get a melee for uh, for the Soviet Union, um, so yeah. But the main thing is that it, the ML, MLD, some I mean to sum it up, basically, it is that the MLA has a worse radar, not by much, but around 10 to 15 percent, depending on the situation on range, for example, uh, and less ECM capability, so less ability to just ignore chaff and stuff like that. And also, the MLA will turn worse, okay? Uh, also, the MLD has a technically a better IRST, so you have to... We have to test that out. I couldn't actually feel the difference, but the, the sensor suite would be better. In real life, the MLD was a, basically a complete different uh, weapon systems that he had, you know? So he was able to use the HMD systems and the helmet mounted, right? Uh, R73s from the get-go and yeah, other stuff. So it was just, the MLD was the ultimate version. It's like the MiG-21 Bs for the MiG-23, right? Uh, obviously we have modifications for it uh, in the 90s, but the MLD was the last um, up upgraded versions, you know? and the last production versions of the Soviet uh, MiG-23s, you know? But, yeah, around 560 examples of these aircraft uh, were actually converted or built uh, from MLs and MLAs. So, it's like the MLA would become an MLD in the future, right? If it was in Soviet service. So, and even in German service if the Soviet Union didn't collapse. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of fun to see that. But remember, MLA, worse radar by a bit, not a lot, but not, I mean, it's it's perceptible, you know, uh, and less maneuverable. Engine is the same, everything else is the same. IRST is a little bit worse as well, but it doesn't change that much. Uh, the missiles are the same, R-24s, R-60s, you know. Once we get the R-60M uh, for the Soviets, we will get the R-60MK for the MLA as well, which is a... Uh, export variant of the R60M, so it is basically the same, you know, we already have that on the MF, for example, and and on the MiG-21Bs as well, so, but basically this is it, guys, uh, let me know in the comments if you have any doubts, but uh, they're not that much difference from each other, but the MLD is a little bit better, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I see you guys on the next one, so bye guys, see ya, subscribe, be a member, Patreon, PayPal, whatever, you want okay so i see you guys in the next one bye